Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back. So today's video I'm really, really excited for. I've got my first ever PR. Can you believe that? So little old me, uh, an older YouTuber with only around about 350 subscribers has been sent some PR. I, I can't get my head around it to be honest, but this brand is a very special brand and I don't do things like other brands out there. So I shouldn't have been too surprised. I am of course talking about the wonderful Kaleidos makeup. Uh, I got this box from them in PR and it was full of their highlighters and I've got all of their brushes as well. So I've already bought with my own money all of their palettes and I've done looks with four of their palettes but I've never played with this one on camera which is the Electro Turquoise. In fact, I've not used it at all. But if you've been here before, you'll know how much I love their eyeshadow formula. I've talked about it a lot really loved the silver in the side of a bronze and the red in that one there some of my favorite shadows in my collection so I'm just so happy to have been recognized by a brand that I love so much so Kaleidos if you do watch this thank you so so much for sending this package my way I'm so appreciative so so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to swatch out each of the highlighters because just seeing them in the pan doesn't tell the full story. They're so multi-dimensional and duochrome and gorgeous that I think we need to do that. I'm not much of a swatcher normally, so let's hope this goes okay. We're going to create an eye look and then once I've done the eye look, I'm going to choose one of the highlighters to apply and I'm going to uh, apply the eye look with the brushes and the highlighter with the highlighter brush so you can see how everything works. So just to say before I get into that, um, I'm filming this on the 24th, hopefully it will go up today if not tomorrow, but I know their sale starts on the 24th for Black Friday, if you pick up any palette you can get a second one for 50% off, they have bundle deals, um, I think they've reduced the bundle for the highlighters, they're normally £76 I think for the five highlighters or £14 each, but there's going to be a reduction on those, so it's a really great time if you haven't tried out Claire Doss to, to get involved and do that. The packages come from China. They're really beautifully wrapped. They're like, the bubble wrap is like that thick. You know, there's nothing going to happen to them in transit. For me in the UK, they do take a while to get here. Mine took three weeks from when the PR package was dispatched. I got mine later than a lot of people. You've probably seen people do PR reviews on these. They sent out two batches of PR so I got mine in the second batch but it did take three weeks to get here just to let you know if you're in the UK not to worry if it's taken a little while for your products to get to you they will get to you uh, so yeah without further ado let's get into showing you the highlighters and the swatches as I say I'll do an eye look and I'll give you a round of my thoughts at the end and we'll also do a bit of chit chat as well as we go a little bit of a get ready with me style so I will put some time stamps if you just want to jump ahead to like seeing the highlighter applied on my face or seeing the eye look etc. So let's get into the first one. So the first one is this one, it's called Comet Catcher and I'm just going to read you each one what the shade is all about. So we've got for this one a silky, can't speak, a silky fluorescent fuchsia with a peach veneer. So that's the first one. They're in a, a metally sort of tin but it feels like rubberized as such and then inside you've got a little bit of like a a plastic that will come up and down so it kind of protects the shadow and now if you look at it on the back of my hand can you see the the pinky shift to it it's just stunning if you like a pink highlight that one's going to be for you I think that's absolutely beautiful pinky peach so that one was comet catcher the next one is star surfer and that's the packaging for that one and that one is described as a smooth rosy champagne with silver undertones so I think that one's going to be bit more for those of you that don't want a, a colourful highlighter set that just want something a bit more just a highlight rather than a colour. I like colourful highlights but that one's more if you're icy toned. Got a hint of pink but icy toned. Really good on my skin tone that one. That's quite a light one. Might, might be a bit bright on deeper skin tones but perfect for me I think as a highlight. And then we've got Ray Rider and Ray Rider's packaging looks like this. They're all super pretty space age theme. And this one is a velvety golden champagne with a trace of peach. So that's that one. It's peachy and reflective. Yeah, there you go. You can see it a little bit there. 
just going to knock the lights down slightly and see if that helps with you to see that. There we go. I think that helps a little for you to see the reflectiveness of it there. So those three are the more quote unquote wearable shades. But the ones that I'm the most excited, I mean those are beautiful, but the ones I'm most excited for are the G series ones. So some of them say N and some of them say G. So I think some of them are sort of more natural and the others are a bit more glowy. That's what I'm taking it as being. I'm not sure if that's the case. But the next one is called Skywalker and that's the packaging for that one. And that one is described as an incandescent aqua blue with ultraviolet undertones. That's that one and it's got that blue to violet shift in it. So again, I'm gonna knock the lights down just a little so you can see it a bit better. There you go, can you see the sheen on that? They're reflective, but they're smooth. There's no glitter in them as such. So if you don't like a glittery highlight, I think you'll still like them, they're just really sheeny. So that one was Skywalker. Then we've got Laser Glazer. This one is my personal favourite. This one looks absolutely beautiful. This one, even from the pan, you can tell it's going to be something a bit different. But this one is described as a piercingly bright green infused with rose gold. And that's the shade for that one. Look at the reflection on that. Don't really need to turn the lights down for that one, I don't think, but we're going to anyway, just so you can see. Super, super pretty. That one reminds me actually a little bit of Money Honey by Jeffree Star, one of his Supreme Frosts. So if you've been uh, thinking about getting that one, which is £30 and is absolutely beautiful, but I'd say this one's as good and it's $14. So. So just something to bear in mind, it's smaller though, it is a lot smaller. And the last one is Solar Sailor, which is a gold highlight. It's described as a sleek and radiant satin gold. So that one's Solar Sailor. Again, I'll just knock the lights down so you can see the reflection on that one. Super, super pretty. Okay, so that's all the highlighters. I'd love to know down below what you think of them guys but I think they're so unusual like I've never seen packaging in tins like this it's like a quite a thick sort of tin but small enough to pop in your handbag and it's like that rubberized kind of feeling almost over it so, yeah they're not a shiny tin but they're a more satiny sort of and, and soft but Oh, they're really, really lovely packaging and I think they've excelled with that. And what I also like about them is the fact that they're not enormous because I've never hit pan on a highlighter ever. I know I've got a lot of uh, makeup, but even before I really got into makeup, I never did. So I think there's so much wasted product with highlighters. So, I mean, they're a bit bigger than an eyeshadow. I'd say they're probably about the same size as a sugar pill eyeshadow pan, if that gives you any idea. Uh, they can be used as inner corner highlights or as an eyeshadow as well so if you like that duo chrominess in your inner corner they'll be brilliant for that so we're going to try them on my face later but first impressions from swatching them I think the first three I showed you are really really beautiful a bit more Star Surfer and Raid Rider are definitely neutral the first one Comet Catcher is very pink but the blue, green and the gold so Skywalker, Laser Glazer and Solar Sailor those ones are just something a little bit special particularly the blue and the green so they would be what I would have gravitated towards buying and the great thing about having PR is that I can show you all of them because I probably would have bought one or maybe two because I've been a bit crazy with makeup lately and I've you know I've got a budget and whatever so at least I can show you them all because some of them are going to be more for one person than another so at least you get to see all of them which is is so exciting for me to be able to do that so so let's move into the eye look. I'm going to use the Futurism 5, the Electro Turquoise. This one is limited edition. It's still available on the site. As I say, I bought this with my own mini together with the VR Neon. I um, had them since the summer, just haven't had a chance to have a play on camera. So we're going to do that. Oh, I haven't really showed you the brushes. So with the brushes, you've got a highlighter brush, the H1, which is this one here. The brushes are super nice packaging. You've got Kaleidos written on there. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that out on camera or not. 
there you go I think you can see um, but they're a nice weight they're really nice quality so this brush reminds me of the Sigma F03 high cheekbone highlighter they're both dense and quite fluffy and they're vegan and cruelty free fibers uh, so a synthetic brush this one's got a little bit more thickness to it I think it'll buff in the highlighter really really well so I'm excited to try that out so that highlighter brush is eight dollars but you get it for 50 percent off if you buy the highlighter set i believe have a look at their website i'll link the website in my description box and you'll see all the current offers because i know for black friday week the prices are changing quite a bit but they have free shipping over 48 dollars um, worldwide as well which is amazing so then you've got the brushes there s1 to s5 so that being the s1 s2 three four and five so we'll start with the one it's a very big brush i would say if you look at it against my eye it's a big brush you could use it for like the tippy top of your highlight there but because it's sort of almost a little bit pinched on the top i think you'd be able to get it into your crease certainly for me it'll work in my crease and above my crease might be a little bit big for those of you with hooded eyes though but as i say could be used as like um for your nose highlight and for just the very tips of your cheeks there the s2 similar sort of brush to the sigma e40 so if you like that sort of splayed blending brush to start off your look this one will have you covered really nice blending brush really soft then you've got the ones that i'm more interested in because i like small brushes so the s3 is a pinch brush you can see from the ferrule there that it is more pinched and flat so that will really enable you to get into the crease but also to be able to use it under your lash line without it splaying out too much that's what i'll use it for and to create that shape that you often see me do in the corner i'm going to do that with that today the s4 is a packing brush so very tight pinch sort of packing brush there and obviously for packing shadows on the lid and getting maximum payoff and then this one it's really special i really like this one the s5 is a fluffy pencil brush and very similar to the morphe e36 in size and shape if you're familiar with that one and uh, so that one's great as a pencil brush lower lash line inner corner be great using those highlighters in the inner corner with that so i'm so excited to have those in my collection they look stunning um, you know quality wise the finish I've never seen brushes in that sort of green sheen either so so yeah I'm really excited to use those but let's get started on the eye look right so what I'm going to do today then I'm going to take that brown which looks absolutely gorgeous uh, tone of brown I'm going to take that in my outer corner and into my crease build up a bit of intensity with that definitely going to be using that shade and then more towards my nose and my inner corner I'm going to go in with the orange yeah, that's pretty much what i'm going to do i haven't decided what else i'm going to do so my looks tend to evolve as we go so i'm going to start with the s4 brush i've already primed my eyes with the mac painterly paint pot use that most of the time when i do my eye looks and i'm just going to use this brush just to build a shape in the outer corner i'm going to go out in a almost triangle kind of shape in the outer corner so this brush having a little bit of a point but being fluffy on the point will help me to create that shape I think that I'm trying to create and I'm going to take that brown just to about the, the middle and stop there and Kaleidos mattes are really really pigmented but they're easy to blend as well I'm enjoying this brush because of having that point on it I don't know if they got a little bit flattened in uh, in packing in the box but I kind of like the, the flatness of it. I hope it's not going to fluff up too much because I like it how it is at the moment. I'm going to take that brown just slightly onto my lower lash just in that very outer corner. It seems weird with such a colourful palette going in with the, the most neutral shade in the palette I guess to most people but I really like the look of the tone of this brown. It's quite a cool tone sort of brown and I fancy to use it. And I'm going to also take that into my outer corner a bit as well to 
give me something to blend the shimmer into later. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've not had any fallout as such. I don't think I've had any. Which for a deep shade like this is pretty impressive. I do go in very, very light handed into shadows and then build them up. But look at the pigment I'm getting already. This really big brush is going to be good with no additional product and to diffuse the edges and that's what I'm going to use it for in this look. So I'm using really light pressure, just flicking the brush over the edges of that and it's blending out seamlessly really. So then moving into the S3 and the orange shade, and I'm going to put that next to the brown but in the inner part of my crease there. I think with this palette what you've got to be careful of is the blend between the shades so not muddying up say the turquoise with the orange so this way I'm going this way with the crease. That's laying down really nicely. Well, that's going to play really nicely, I think, with the oranges and reds, etc. in the VR Neon. I will have to do a video at some point combining all of those palettes because I've got all five of them and I think that would be a really nice look. What I'm going to do is take that orange above the, the brown, so I'm almost like fading the orange into the brown above my crease there. Again, I love that this brush is slightly pinched because it, although it's quite a big fluffy brush, it gives you that control for placement of where you want to put it. And I haven't really got a brush that's fluffy but pinched like this, so it's a good addition to my collection. I'm a complete brush addict though, I love them because I don't tend to uh, use a brush more than once, you know, before washing it, so I need a lot of brushes. So in my, just while I'm finessing this look, I'll just have a little chat with you. In my um, tag video that I recently did, I was talking about sponsorship and whether I'd ever do sponsorship, and I said I definitely won't do that, and I won't, and I was saying I don't mind taking PR, and it did take me a little while to get my head around whether I wanted to do PR as well, because... I never want my opinions to be swayed but I think you guys probably know me by now enough to know that I'm pretty authentic I'll tell you what I think I can generally make things work for me but I'm always going to be honest about who I think a product will work for so I think as long as I do that and I Keep it as real as possible for you guys. I hope you won't mind seeing a bit of PR on my channel. I know I'm in a very fortunate position to have it and I'll never take that for granted. So, right, back in with the S1, the one that's got no product on, just to really make sure that we've blended everything out and kept it as seamless as possible. I've still got a bit of a a line that I don't like here and that's more my blending capabilities than it is the shadow I think. Sometimes for me for blending I have to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards and it looks so easy when you see other people do it. But maybe that's a good thing for you to see me struggle a little bit and then if you're struggling too you can see it's not the easiest thing in the world sometimes to get a, a really nice blend. I look at these pictures on Instagram that the blend just looks seamless. I'm like, how on earth do they do that? Because, I mean, I've been doing makeup for a couple of years seriously and I practice pretty much every day and I still can't get that down. I think we've got quite a nice little gradient going on now and I think that looks okay. I always go in with NYX Glitter Glue, so I'm going to do what I always do. Just got a concealer brush to do that. I'm not going to use the Kaleidos brush for the Glitter Glue because I... 
want to use the shadow with that so I'm just going in with a Sigma concealer brush to do that and I'm just tapping that onto the inner part of my lid and stopping it where it touches that brown on the outer corner really. Okay then in with the S4, the packing brush and that turquoise shade. It's a little bit flaky to pick up so I think a glitter glue is definitely going to be required but oh wow can you guys see that oh my god yeah definitely you want to pick it up with a, a glitter glue so if I show you in the pan I don't know if I can it is kind of flaky it's that sort of multi-reflective formula that that is a little bit flaky in the pan but I don't think I've ever seen anything like it but look at that Wow, I'm going to take that all over the lid to the corner because it's just stunning. And this brush is a really good shape to do that. I normally struggle to get my colour right into the corner but it's kind of squared off which is really helping to, to get a point to that inner corner. I normally have to go in with a pencil brush in the inner corner. But I'm not having to do that here. That is something else, isn't it? Can you see it? Wow. I wish I'd tried this palette sooner. <laughs> it's been sat there in my pile of need to film with for a little while and got caught up with filming with other things. I've got lots of things waiting at the moment. Probably got five or six palettes that I haven't filmed with yet that are coming up that are fairly new things and I've also got my eye on a few things for Black Friday as well so so just where that meets I just want to just see if I can blend that a little bit just drag a bit of that brown over and then a bit of that shimmery shade you're never going to really blend this kind of a shade into a matte I don't think but I just want to just give me a little bit of a gradient there if I can. For my waterline I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Deep End. I thought this would go really well with these shades. One of my favourite pencils from them as well. Can't wait to see if Claire does ever do pencils. They're going to knock it out of the park I think with those. Right then for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the turquoise shade and with the pencil brush, the S5. And just run that along my lower lash line, meeting up to that corner. But when I get to that corner, just being a little bit careful. I don't really mind if things muddy up a little bit. When the shade's brown anyway in the outer corner, it's going to look okay. This brush is the perfect shape and size for the lower lash line. Cleaned it off a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to go in now with the lighter of the two turquoise shades. I can't stop looking at those lids to be honest. Oh my god. I'm just going to bring that lighter one into the inner corner so it just sort of meets up. Gives me a gradient with the other one. Right, for my inner corner I don't like to use glitter glue. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to use the silvery shade. It is more of a topper shade I think, but I think layered over those colours in my inner corner it will work well. So I'm going to pick it up on that pencil brush and spray it with Fix Plus. And that's really pretty done like that. I think that shade with the orange all over the lid and this shade packed over the top could look really, really pretty. Right, so I'm just going to hop off camera now and do liner, just a trace of liner on my upper lids, do some mascara and a lip for the look and I'll be back with you. We'll choose a highlighter together and see how the highlight brush works as well. Okay guys, so that's the look with liner and mascara and with the lips. 
I've gone with the Dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick. This one's the shade Campfire. Really, really pretty. Love this lipstick and it's pulling out the orange warmth in the look a little bit, I think. So I don't know which highlighter to go with. We've got two options in my mind. We've got one with a bit of peach in Ray Rider or we've got Solar Sailor with the gold in. So I think for this look, I'm going to go with Ray Rider. And I think for a lot of people, this will be a very nice more neutral highlight anyway so I think it'd be a good one to show you so we're going to go in with the H1 highlighter brush it's picked up a fair bit of product on that brush and let's see what happens so I'm just buffing it all oh, it's one of those like it's reflective sit from space but you haven't got lots of glitter as I say reminds me a little bit it's not as wet kind of um, feeling as that, but it reminds me of the sort of sheen you get from an Ofra highlight. And a lot less expensive than an Ofra highlight as well. As I say, you're getting less product. It is 2.4 grams of product, if you guys know the, the product sort of sizes. As I say, they are quite small pans, but that doesn't matter to me as I say because they last forever highlighters do and if you've got quite a lot in your collection like I do you don't need very much it goes a long way but that glow that's just transformed the look honestly and this isn't the most like like the blue one I think uh Skywalker is the most reflective or the green one laser glazer this one I thought was going to be quite natural and it has got that glow from within but it, it's super glowy that is absolutely stunning. I'm not normally blown away by highlighters that often. <laughs> like I've got quite a few chalky kind of pretty rubbish highlighters really. That I can make work, but this, the brush helps because it's really buffing it in. But it's just really reflective. I'm just going to take some down the centre of my nose and a little bit on my chin and on my temples as well. And I'm going to pull the lights down just a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Just so you can see that glow. Can you see that? So no, super impressed with that. So that was the shade Ray Rider. It is a champagne-y, peachy sort of highlight. And really a nice match for this eye look, I think. So... I really hope you enjoyed seeing me go through all the products. I hope you don't mind me showing some PR on my channel. Please let me know down below. I don't want to upset anybody that's been subscribed to me for a while. And I know, you know, some people have got mixed views on PR. But, but I'm excited to be able to show you a wider range of the highlighters than perhaps I might have been able to afford to buy with all the other things I wanted to buy. So I can show you them all. And I'm going to, in other videos, change things up if I'm doing a look that's more... But say uh, I want to do a, a smoky eye, like a dark smoky eye, and then use that Skywalker shade as like a highlight in my inner corner maybe and, and show that one on my cheeks. I've got a few ideas of how I can incorporate these into various looks, not just with the Kaleidos palettes, but with other things that I've got. So you'll be seeing these pop up again. If you've got to the very end of this video, thank you so much. And I'd love it if you would drop an emoji down in the, the comments for me. The sparkle emoji is one of my favourite for highlighters. So little sparkle emoji would be lovely. But thank you so, so much. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go. I do colourful eye looks like this two or three times a week on my channel and some product reviews, but it is mostly tutorial based. So if you're down for that, then I'd love to have you. But other than that, guys, that concludes the video. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.